everyone, it's Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new AK After Us Saw re review episode for today. This is going to be my review on a brand new released film for 2022, which this one just came out just a couple days ago around the globe. I saw this on release day, which was the 19th of August, which was the day after my, my uh, 21st birthday. And I wanted to review this film the day it was released, but I had a few, there was a few things that was in my way and all that, like I was quite busy and all that, as well as with work and all that. But since I'm off work and I have nothing really else plan to nothing really planned to do i i feel like i should get this review of, i should i should get this review over and done with and i really wanted to put, give you guys my personal thoughts on this release so today's review is going to be my review on the 2022 computer animated martial arts um fantasy adventure film this is the of course based off the popular anime series which is my favorite anime series of all time as well as the next install another installment to the feature film series of this popular anime series and, it, and as you guys can tell from what i'm wearing from the hat and the shirt of course, I'm here to talk to you guys about Dragon Ball Super Superhero. This is the next installment to the uh, feature film series of Dragon Ball, and in this movie, we fought, we we come across this um, army known as the Red Ribbon Army, which was once, which all those years ago, it was, it was once destroyed by Son Goku, and after all, the, and a few years, and many years later, there's a few individuals who are trying to keep this um, red this um, army alive, and um, by that is that they create these. Um, two androids known as Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 and they basically are created to become superheroes which they call themselves superheroes because they start to attack um, the characters that we all know and love from the series which consist um, Piccolo and Gohan and it's basically up to these two characters to basically go up against these two um, androids as well as of course the main villain who is responsible for trying to keep this um, this army alive to and all that so that's pretty much the story of dragon ball super superhero now i've been a big fan of um, dragon ball ever since uh, 2018 well back then when i started getting into my film days i really wasn't into anime a few of my friends convinced me i should get i should give anime a go and all that but they really were my kind of thing but twin but in 2018 when i started getting more into my film stuff and all that when i started becoming a, mo a big movie love and critic um I start. I, I decided to give anime a go, and uh, the first thing that popped in my head with, for, for for anime that I wanted to check out was Dragon Ball Z as well as Dragon Ball Super, and uh, I I started loving it. I started. I've checked out a few of the movies, like the most recent ones, like we've had Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods, uh, Resurrection Resurrection F, and most recently Dragon Ball Super Broly, which that was the last one we did get before this, and uh, I I've loved it ever since. I love um. I love the, the characters, I love the show, and I love some of the movies and all that, and I love the video games as well. I've played a few of the games with my friends before and all that. And um, um, after I saw Super Broly, I was wondering when we were getting another Dragon Ball movie, because I was dying for another Dragon Ball movie after I saw Super Broly, because I enjoyed that one a lot more than the last two uh, feature uh, movies we've had, Dragon Ball Z, which were Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, which I enjoyed those ones. But Super Broly, I thought, was really awesome. And when the trailers dropped, and when I heard we were getting a new, actual new one, uh, which was about to come out this year, I was really excited for it. Since again, like, because like I said, I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z, as well as Dragon Ball Super. And um, when the trailers hit um, YouTube, of course, I was really pumped for the film. And I was wondering when this was going to come out. And they did a few preview screenings in the UK, like it was re released on the 17th and the 18th of August, which that day is my birthday. Um, and I didn't see it on my birthday because I wanted to have a few, I have time off work and all that as well as the time off like cinema trips and all that, to spend time with my family and all that. And I had and I did have a really good day to celebrate my 21st birthday. And so the day after my birthday, I really wanted to go and see the film. So I went to see this on the 19th of August, um, which was a couple of days ago and all that. And my, there was quite a few people in my screening who were also really excited for the film. There was quite a few fans who, fans who were sitting alongside of me who were really pumped for this movie. And so after walking out of this movie, I can tell you that I definitely had an awesome experience with this movie because I had a blast with Dragon Ball Super Superhero. This movie was indeed awesome. And, uh, and also, I personally like this one a lot more than Super Broly here. Like, there was just so many things in this film that just really made me have a huge blast with this, with this one from beginning to end. Like, the animation art style looks absolutely incredible for the style, the colors, um, the backgrounds, and, of course, the action sequences. For, for every single moment of that, it just looks absolutely incredible. Um, and even the, and also, they use a bit of their new uh, technique and for its um, style. Like, they use a bit of 3D to it, which I thought worked really, really well. Especially for the action sequences, which the action sequences in this movie were, were of course, you know, 
epic and just, you know, a huge blast to watch out on the screen. And for every moment of that, which is really, it just really got me hooked on the edge of my seat, especially for the finale, which was really, really, um, just really, really epic. And um, the character development for the characters that we all know and love from the show, I thought was really, really spot on, uh, especially for the character of Piccolo, since he's the main protagonist in the film, which, was, which, which really surprised me and all that. And, you know, for when we do see him being a hero, he doesn't really play out mostly like a hero. He does play out like a different person in this film. Like, he kind of plays like a, a family figure to some of the characters from the show. Like, uh, he plays like a father figure to Gohan again, which we did see him do that before when we've see, we seen Piccolo train, training Gohan to become, you know, a powerful warrior since he lost his father um, while they were when they were trying to get all the Dragon Balls uh, to basically resurrect Goku. Despite that, his mother, Chi, she didn't want him to be a... A peaceful war and all that since it was pretty much dangerous really and uh, he also kind of plays that, like an uncle figure to uh, Gohan's daughter Pan but which for the scenes for that I thought was really really cute and uh, for the character development of Gohan I thought was great because we see him like he kind of like try to live a normal life until he calls back into the spotlight to become you know a peaceful war again which we don't see we don't really see much of Gohan in this film but until like sort of like it sort of in the middle act and till it's sort of like in the middle act where he's about to, you know, uh, team up with uh, Piccolo and a few of the characters to basically uh, go up against the Red Ribbon Army and all of that. And there's a few other characters um, who do make appearance in this film, which I won't say who really, because spoilers for those who haven't seen this film. If you're de if you're willing to see this film, definitely go and check out this film. And um, for Goku, he's not really in the movie that much, uh, which really which was really surprising because I did not really expect that. Um, cause he's only in the movie like for like five or ten minutes as well as for like Vegeta and all that. But it was great to see him in the movie as well as Vegeta, as, as well as seeing Vegeta all over again and all that. And, uh, this movie of course doesn't go too serious and all that because there's a few like comedic moments in the film, which I wouldn't say that oh, I was really as like higher than ever really, which that's the only, only issue I do have with this one, uh, with this movie. But for the comedic moments, they were still really, really funny and all that, especially the one with Bulma. It was really, really funny that like, I couldn't stop laughing my ass off. And there's a few like funny moments with um, Goku and Vegeta and all that. And there's a few uh, moments with Piccolo and all that, which is really funny when we do see like his life and all that, like uh, like what he's living with. Like he has a few plushies and all that, like cats, and he doesn't want to say like he collects them because he's too embarrassed. He even has like a phone, like an iPhone case that's a cat and all that, and it rings like a cat, which is really funny. And um, for the villains, I forgot. I also forgot to say about the villains. Um, it, it doesn't. This the, for the villains who are kind of showing up on screen it doesn't really play like who is really the main villain. But I do. I kind of already guess like who was really the main villain and all that. But I really won't say who is really the main villain because again spoilers. But but overall, guys, Dragon Ball Super superhero. It was indeed a blast for me since I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. It was just you know. It was just awesome. It was epic, and it was just really exciting, and it really got and for the and the hype was just so real for me, and, and I'm really and I'm really happy. The hype just st still stayed inside of me since, of course, I was really hyped for the film. Again, the animation was just gorgeous. The character development was spot on. The actions, the action was epic, and it has just you know, and nothing really made. And there was there's not a single moment that just made me bored. This this that just really got me bored into tears and all that. So. Of course, so if you're a fan of this series and you're dying to see this movie, definitely get a ticket for this one because you'll indeed have an absolute blast with this movie just like I did. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I'm going to give Dragon Ball Super Superhero four and a half out of five. Yep, this movie just gave me exactly what I wanted out of a Dragon Ball movie since I'm a big fan of this whole series. And um, I can definitely say fans will definitely have an absolute blast with this one. Um, despite having one little con with this one, I still managed to have an absolute bl an absolute blast with this one from beginning to end. And this one just never got me bored to tears since, again, I'm a huge fan of this whole franchise myself. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AKF or a review on Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And before I end off this video, I also, I'd also just like to give, I'd like to say to a few of my uh, YouTube friends and um, Facebook friends, say thank you very much for the birthday messages. It was really nice to get a lot, get, uh, to get a lovely messages to to celebrate my uh, 21st birthday. I had, a, I had a really good day. I had some, I got some lovely gifts. Which I'd like to show you guys my um, 
my uh, gifts I did get for my uh, birthday. So here we go. Okay, so here's uh, my uh, birthday gifts, which we'll go to them right now. So here we have the t-shirts. We have a uh, Beavis and Butthead t-shirt, Jazz Burger World. I really like this shirt. It's a really funny shirt. Of course, I do love um, the show. I do like the show Beavis and Butthead, and I have seen the movies. I saw the first movie, and of course, I did see the sequel, which is on Paramount Plus. If you want to know what I thought of the film, I have done re and I have done review of this film. If you want to know what I thought of the film, I really much appreciate you. I got my views on my channel, and I got a uh, Jackass T-shirt which has the symbol on it. It's a really nice shirt. I did wear I, this. I did wear this one for my day and all that. And it's a really good shirt. And I got a, a Stranger Things t-shirt, which has, which has uh, the Hell of Fire Club symbol on the logo on it. I really like the shirt. And I do, of course, I do love the show Stranger Things. It's it's one of my favorite of Netflix shows. A lot of people kept telling me I should get into the show, but I never really got into the show. But when season four was about to come out, I was like, I need to get into the show. And I immediately fell in love with the show. And I got myself a pair of um, Air, um, AirPods. I really need my own pair of these. And here's the bag of candy. Um, I got some Reese's Thins, um, peanut butter cups, uh, M&M chocolates, and uh, skill fruits. And here are them, the movies here, which you can just read from the spines here. I got Clifford the Big Red Dog. I got Death on the Nile. I got Dog, The Green Knight, Jack Has Forever, Malignant, Marry Me, The Matrix Resurrections, Nightmare Alley, Ron's Gone Wrong. Scream 5, Sing 2, Turning Red, and Uncharted. So yeah, those are my birthday gifts. I was really, I'm, I'm really very happy for what I've been, what I got for my birthday, uh, from family and friends and all that. I really, do, I really like these gifts and all that. So yeah, that's that's my, so that's my birthday gifts. So yeah, those are all my gifts. Um, um, again, I'm really happy for what I've been, what I just got for my birthday. And again, just thank you so much for watching. Uh, for this review of Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And let me know what you think of this new film. If you have just recently seen this film. If you've already seen this film. Did you have a blast with this? Or were you very let down with this one? So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.